Hey Brahmas, my name is Mario, one of the full-time librarians at the Pierce College Library. Welcome to this research tutorial for English 101 with Professor McLeod. As a librarian, my goal is to help you with your research assignments so that that experience is smooth and re rewarding for you. Now, let's begin with the actual assignment. Before we start researching, we want to know what exactly are we supposed to be doing. So we have a text in Cold Blood by Truman Capote. And I imagine this is a mid-sized paper, like three to five pages. And you're going to need some sources, such as journal articles, eBooks, maybe newspapers, and a works cited page, which is the bibliography at the end of your paper where you list all of your sources in their full citation according to MLA 8th edition style. So before we begin the actual research process, let's think about what that process actually entails. So what I tell students, you got to pick a topic, but you also want to think about the research question that's going to be driving your investigation because you're going to be needing keywords from that research question so that, so that we can use the exact words that are going to best pull up all of the research or evidence that you might need to back up your argument. And of course, we want you to use the databases in the library because our databases already have academic sources in nature, which are more reliable and authoritative than anything that you might find in the public web. Not only that, but it helps you learn how to conduct academic research, which is more professional if you are thinking of going and getting your master's degree or PhD in the future, or even if you're just planning on transferring to a four-year university. Now, in terms of tools, what does the library offer? We offer a lot of databases, which we buy with our budget so that you as an enrolled student can have access to this. So this is not something that you can find for free through a public search engine. The databases that I'm recommending are OneSearch, Gale Literary Sources, and maybe JSTOR and maybe Academic Search Complete. I say maybe because you don't really need that many sources, right? So the goal is not to email ourselves as many sources as we find on Truman Capote. What we want is to find sources that actually talk about the specific topic that you are trying to write about in your paper. So you can easily find really good sources if you have great keywords in OneSearch or in Gale Literary Sources. You don't have to be searching multiple databases because um, that can take up a lot of time, right? So the power really comes from the keywords. Now, an overview of a keyword strategy. For English papers, you're usually using a literary text, right? And that text usually has an author. So after that, you can play with the keywords. Like I said, it depends on your actual question and your topic. So if I was analyzing the short story, The Metamorphosis by Kafka, so I can have the metamorphosis in quotation marks, which is a technique that tells the database to keep that exact um, phrasing, the, that exact um, string of characters. And then this is just an example. Let's say that I was interested in symbolism and maybe I was interested from the angle of Marxist literary theory. So in this example, you can see that I use parentheses because I'm not sure if the best keyword is Marxist or Marxism. So with the parenthetical, the database reads that as one keyword, as one condition and it's going to look up for either that word or this other word. So the operator or in this case is a search technique that allows us to expand that concept because we're not exactly sure if the best keyword is Marxist 
or Marxism. Another example of a keyword strategy is this one. So more related to in cold blood. I can put that in quotation marks because I want that exact phrase because that's the title, right? I don't want any articles that have the word cold and then the cold, the word blood, right? I want in cold blood as one phrase. And then of course, Capote. And then after that, it depends upon the topic that you are focusing on. As an example, I'm just using death penalty, right? And then I can put that in quotation marks or I can take out the quotation marks. It, it's not required. And then I'm using another parenthetical because I don't know if the best keyword to use would be insane or sane. So let's say that I was just curious about those keywords because maybe my research question deals with the death penalty and how it's applied to people who might claim that they're insane. And then it brings up the concept of, well, what is saneness? So this is just an example, right? It, we could easily just keep it as insane and not use the word sane, but I'm just trying to teach you some searching techniques for your keywords that you might be adopting.